I have a 4,000 watt inverter. It calls for a four aught gauge. I have uh, four batteries, so I need to make up a total of three, well, of each color. The red and the black came in 10 feet, and it came with a pack of 10. I've got to make this into this. And I want to show you guys, you know, it seems a little overwhelming on the idea of doing this yourself. I hope this video will help give you guys the confidence in being able to do this yourself. I've already made two of them right here. This is what you're going to need. I'm not going to be cutting all the way through. I'm just going to be using this pipe cutter to get my uh, straight line. I'm going to use the X-Acto knife to uh, help me cut through. And I'm going to be using a tape measure to make some measurements. The pin right here to make my mark. So I'm going to be charging and discharging equally and evenly through all four of my batteries. This is how I'm going to wire everything. Now what's important to know is that all of your cables need to be exactly the same length. My furthest distance is from this A negative to the C negative and the same the D positive to the B positive. Now, I really only need, with the, the existing batteries I have right now, uh, I only need 14 inches from here to there. However, I'm sure someday I'll have to replace the batteries. I don't want to have to go back and make these longer if I get larger batteries. So I'm going to go ahead and just make these 18 inches from here to there. That way I got a little bit of play uh, as well. And then if I get bigger batteries, I can go ahead and still reach. First thing I'm going to do, I've got three quarters of an inch that's going to fit inside here. I've already measured that out. I'm going to go ahead and make my mark. Do three quarters of an inch. And I'm measuring from uh, the copper, not the, uh, uh, the insulation. I'm going to open this up here. This blade is used for cutting steel pipe, uh, EMT. That's what This is what I used to cut my uh, ground mount, my solar panel ground mount. I'm going to stick this blade right on my marking. I'm going to tighten up. And as I mentioned, I'm not going to use this tight to cut this, obviously. I'm just using it to get my straight line. That's as tight as I want to go. Okay, so now I can see my nice cut all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see, make sure you guys can see that. I'm not going to push too hard. I want to do this without cutting copper. As you can see, this is pretty fine copper in here. I'm just going to gently, without cutting myself, tr follow the uh, my mark that I made with my pipe cutter, and then just slowly pull and tear If you guys look at the uh, link below, I'll provide a link to this Amazon purchase. It's nice just following my little trace mark from my pipe cutter. So it's all nice and straight and pretty. Just gonna tear off some of this paper. Okay, I've got a little bit of uh, insulation on here. Whoops, if you guys can see that. I'm just gonna gently run my X-Acto knife just so I can get that insulation off. Just wanna make this look nice and pretty for you viewers there. And then the paper, whatever doesn't peel off, I'm just gonna tuck down with my with my fingernail 
Hope you guys can see what I'm doing there. So I'm just kind of tucking that in just to get it out of the way of the copper. Now, as you can see, nothing uh, came off. I didn't cut any of the copper. This is just going to barely fit on here. A little twist. Voila, look at that. Perfect. So good. I probably don't even really need to uh, heat this on, but I will anyway. Okay. So my next step is to go ahead and clamp it on. Here's what I've got. By the way, these are the uh, the cutters that I used. Got these on Amazon too. I can provide a link for that. Uh, it didn't cost very much. And here's my uh, crimper uh, for the uh, four aught. It's helpful to have a, a second pair of hands. I'm gonna have my son come in here and he, I'm gonna have him hold this. Got it? Yeah. There it is. Now this just slips on over here like this. You want to just kind of evenly rotate. I have this heat gun on low, the first setting. It doesn't need to be on high. Now the inside of these have a glue in there. You can probably kind of see a little bit of a shine. And uh, now it looks all nice and pretty. I thought it looked pretty good. I had it nice and square thanks to the pipe cutter. You can have a little confidence in yourself in doing this. It's not as hard or as difficult as you might think. If you have any questions, uh, I do come on here quite often to uh, look for comments to answer any questions you guys have with my other videos. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys in my next video.